Watch yourself. There's some unsavory types about. Hey, isn't that the King's dog? Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. We've been seeing a lot more soldiers around. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? I've got my eye on you. You cross the kings, you'll regret it. Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. I've been seeing a lot more soldiers around. All I do all day is read magazines. You'd be amazed what you can learn from them. Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. I can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. Was there anything else you wanted? All right. I'll see you later. for all your energy weapon needs. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. You again. What do you want now? One of the families that runs the strip. They're a pack of cheaters, but you still don't want to fuck with them. I wanted to be where the action is, so I got my dad to pull some strings and get me a cushy position with the Crimson Caravan. Everything was great until McLafferty came along. That old bitch is gonna hear about it from my dad, just you wait. Yeah, whatever. So, Benny's dead, huh? That shifty son of a bitch had it coming. I have some work I need handled. 
Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. I'd prefer you not kill anyone with a debt. It's a bit difficult to collect on a corpse. Just get the cabs from them. After that, I couldn't care less what happens to those dead beats. If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. All right, 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Anything else you need? Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother, James. He handles all of the trading contracts and general operations. See ya. been really fortunate. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. If it can be bought. Hey man, can you spare a few caps? Whoa, yeah, I guess the Garrett set you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here, just don't hurt me. Okay, here, that's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. I won't. Thanks for not killing me.
How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a freeside VIP. Yes, indeed. Santiago is very important. I even have a discount in Mick and Ralph's. Perhaps you could use Santiago's discount. For 50 caps, Santiago will tell you the super secret code word to get a discount with Mick. Twenty-five caps will do. Tell Mick Santiago sent you, and the code word is extravaganza. He will set you up. Sir, Santiago told you. Santiago has no debts. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. Didn't think it could possibly get me killed. I'm sure I'll hear about you again soon. How's it going? Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. I was really getting sick of paying for water. Now, what can I do for you? Take a gander. Come back anytime. It was a real mess the Omertas were looking to create. Glad you could get all that sorted. May have cost me some business, but at least we avoided a shitstorm. Anything I can get you? Outstanding. You have no idea how much this means to me. But I think this little beauty will give you an idea. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work, and said to give you this. What's up? I heard about some things you've done around town. Nice to know someone is helping out for a change. You aren't the first poor sucker who's come in here saying that. We don't do discounts here. Sounds like you were ripped off. I go get your money back from Santiago. Sure, let's see what you've got. Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? In that case, yes I do. Follow me.
Just let me know if anything catches your eye. Welcome back, buddy. Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Welcome back, buddy. Are they looking to buy guns? Then talk to my partner, Ralph. Come back and see us soon. Playing debt collector for the Garrets, huh? I guess someone has to do their dirty work. Goodbye. Have you seen the new Securitron upgrades? I pity anyone who gets testy with those bots now. Santiago has nothing left to give. Leave me now. Goodbye. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I haven't the time to speak to commoners such as yourself. Bye. Hello. Lovely to meet you. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? I'm short 90 caps or so, but I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor modules I could put toward my debt. 
At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. Things look to be building up on either side of the dam. This doesn't look good. So it turns out the Almertus were into some serious shit. I always suspected that crew was dirty. Caps up front. We don't do tabs here. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Till next time. What's your problem, lady? Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Well that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrett's thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. 
See you later, kid. The Rangers are getting reinforcements? I hope they don't decide to bring the battle to Freeside. Some gamblers came in saying they'd seen you enter the Lucky 38. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't know of any other living person who's been in there. Yes! Where's his hat? This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Bye. The Rangers are getting reinforcements? I hope they don't decide to bring the Battle of Freeside. the place will be under new management now. Things look to be building up on either side of the dam. This doesn't look good. I hear the Legion is camping out across the river. I hope they're not planning to attack. Those bloodthirsty mole rats are never up to any good. The buildup of tension around the dam isn't making things safe, but it sure is bringing in a lot of hotheads looking to drink their worries away. Later. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas's best source of laser and plasma weapons. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. It should only take a moment. There. I've stored all of your weapons, and you clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graaff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation, and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah. I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work.
Get the fuck away from me. The last man who bothered me volunteered to help test our weapons. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Not at all. There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. Yes, it is. My brother and I run this particular branch, but our family has operations all over, particularly in California. Look around, and you'll notice two things. First, we don't lack for security. I'm not worried about anyone breaking in here or stealing our goods. Not that we don't occasionally have attempts, but even those prove useful. Do you know how much target dummies cost? Back to my point. The second thing you'll notice is that we do not sell cheap merchandise. Everything here is second to none. People who buy Van Graaff goods typically don't care where they have to go to get them. This place is certainly lively, that's for sure. Did you want to know something specific about it? I don't really have much to do with them. They seem to have an aversion to weapons technology, and those who possess a great deal of it. Their loss, really. Ah, the rulers of Freeside. The kings are a bunch of boys who refuse to grow up, and this is their playground. Their leader seems different, though. The few times I've dealt with him, I've been impressed, despite myself. Unfortunately, he rarely acts. The Kings believe that everyone in Freeside can do whatever they want, provided they can back it up with force. Which suits us just fine. When we first arrived in Freeside, the Kings protested when we kicked out the original occupant of this establishment. When we reduced several of their members to glowing puddles of goo, their objections vanished. Since then, we've left each other alone. Well, you probably noticed the Atomic Wrangler across the street. That's pretty much the place to go around here. They make it a little loud around here at night, but the business their proximity brings more than makes up for it. Other than them, you're better off skipping Freeside entirely and just heading to the Strip. Suits me. What did you have in mind? Oh, there's not much to tell. I was born into a big family and don't get along with my parents. So here I am, as far away from them as possible. You must not know a lot about my family, or you wouldn't have asked that. The Van Graffs and the NCR have been enemies for decades. They've tried to block our expansion for years, but we've managed to grow regardless. The problem is, they have too. The NCR is huge now. We're talking on a scale that's difficult to imagine. Time was, we could fight them and hold our own. Not so anymore. My family has enough men and guns to field a small army, but the NCR can field a really, really big army. Fighting them is out of the question now. I've only heard rumors, since this is the furthest east our operations go, but the rumors are pretty scary. They're said to be a huge slaver nation, with all the soldiers obeying their lord with unquestioning obedience. Sounds like a man I'd like to meet. Very little, same as everyone else. We attempted to deal with him when we first moved into the area, but had no luck. He must have his own weapons supplies to keep as many laser-armed robots operational as he does. Makes me wonder where they are. Bye.
watching you closely. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Of course. 